Dance Farm Bereavior. How is everybody doing today? Welcome back to part two of the Alcatronic install. So what I went ahead and done, because you guys have been waiting for this one, I wanted to make sure I've tried out this product at least three weeks, get it installed, make sure all the DKH readings are bang on. And I'm gonna say, this is a solid system. I'm definitely happy that I went this way. So I have everything installed for you guys. So you had to skip all that process of every little step, but I showed you guys a little bit of the sample was going on. You know me, when it comes to installs, I like having those clean lines. Everything looks awesome and everything has a place for everything. So we're gonna take you through a tour, show you the product, um, show you all the readings I've been having for the past three weeks. I've been testing for every hour of the DKH and um, I wanted to see, make sure and tweak everything because what I have is the Alcatronic is controlling my Delta Calcium reactor. So how does that work? Well, I'm gonna show you guys uh, right in the main uh, life support system room for the Hulk, how that works. It's pretty easy. And I'm gonna show you guys that as we go forward here. So I'm gonna show you guys the finished display that I've done up here. I think it looks pretty sweet. We did the painted wall. We did the purple and green, uh, all the piping to the Hulk and to the holding containers. So it's pretty awesome. And what I like about running the Alcatronic is that reagent, right? So it comes concentrated and you gotta mix it with RO water. So you get a lot more tests. Like I said, I've been doing it every hour and, it, and it's cheap because it's like eight cents a test compared to if you're running a Trident, it's a lot more expensive with the Trident than it is the Alcatronic. Like with the, the DKH, if it's bang on, magnesium, calcium should follow right behind it. So let's go ahead, let's dive in here. Let's go check everything out. All right, farm hands. So here is the finished product of my display for the Alcatronic. Hopefully you guys like it. So I went with a couple designer shelves so I can put a few of my products on here that I really enjoy having. You can't ever have enough of Polyp Lab products. Um, I mounted a display here. You guys can check this out. So I can go through here and I can check out how the Hulk is doing every day by just walking in my room. It makes everything so much easier. Plus for the Dosatronic, you know, when you have it hooked up here, and hopefully one day I'll have the Massatronic that's gonna be able to test every other element as well. So this is my display. Um, you guys get here. So this is when I first started up the Alcatronic. So, you know, I was fooling around, trying to get everything in here. Um, I did a little bit of a, I had to add a, few, a little bit of water. So that messed things up a little bit. But as you guys can see, the craft really started to, uh, to take off. So like I said, this is history of, I test daily. So if you guys look here, and I'm trying to hit about a nine all the time. So 8.98, 9.9, 9.6, 9.07. So that is throughout the day and night. And that's how everything looks on your display. And then you get that graft, it looks great. So another little tool to really uh, get things bang on, but I definitely like those results. So knowing that I have such a stable system, all the corals are gonna grow so much better and be a lot healthier just because of running the Alcatronic. So that is the reagent right here. I still have to mix some up. That's in the Bull Magnus, that's a 2.5 liter. So I assume I have to make some more. Um, like I said, here is everything I did. So I had the green inserts, put all the hosing through into the back, everything that's gonna be dosing in the tank. Cause right now um, I have my Alcatronic controlling the Deltec reactor. So let's go into the room and I'll show you guys here. Same thing again, I have my display in here so I can see everything as well. Uh, this works great having it in here. So this is my uh, calcium reactor right here. This is the Deltec. This uh, reactor is about four feet high and it's about eight inches round, so it's a big boy. So with the Alcatronic, that comes with a Wi-Fi plug. And this Wi-Fi plug gets turned and off by the Alcatronic. So that is my Kimura pump right here. So that pump is off right now. It'll turn on when the Alcatronic, you know, does its test and it needs a little bit more alkalinity. Boom, turns the Kimura back on through the Wi-Fi plug. And it's just that simple. And with this plug, it shuts everything down. No more bubble count. Everything is good to go. So that's how easy it is the Elvatronic to take over your Deltec reactor or whatever reactor you're running. It's so simple and it's so easy. Just by plugging it in. You, can, you don't have to plug it in the energy bar from the Apex or anything like that. I just had an extra plug. We throw that in there. And that just turns on the Kimura whenever I need to. And then over here, it'll just drip when it needs to drip. So that's how easy that system is to work. So let's go back over here. So these are the lines coming from the Elkatronic. So it's got our test line. We have our reagent uh, discharge. So the discharge goes right back into my sump. It's safe, it doesn't hurt anything. 
doesn't hurt any aquatic animals or nothing. I did have it running into my skimmer. I, the only thing I found with the skimmer is every time the Alcatronic does a test, it takes up quite a bit of water. And if I don't put it back into my tank, my salinity of my tank can drop, a bit of a pain in the butt. So I just put it right back into the into the sump, just like they said, so it's simple and easy. So that is my lines coming in and my dosing lines, if I want to top up my alkalinity from the dosatronic to control it, it's that simple. And then when we installed everything in here, there's my holding containers for the alkalinity. If my calcium river actor can never keep up, I could take my uh, line right out of there. Boom, it'll dose right into my tank. So that's how simple and easy it is. I tried to make it a really nice clean install. Can't have a problem with that. So we're trying to go for stability on the reef. So Delcheck reactor, Wi-Fi plug, you're good to go. Makes things great. So I just wanted to show you guys that. I, I can, like this Delta calcium reactor has been such like an awesome tool to have. What an easy way to dose your tank just naturally, you know, just by, I use arm media. Like I said, this is four feet tall and this is last forever. Like I, I filled this about a month and a half ago and that's all it's used. These white chips in here, that's the magnesium. So that is how simple that is. And I'm actually just changed out my uh, CO2 container or cylinder and it lasts forever. And I find now by using that Alcatronic, this is not turning on as much and it just uses what it has to use. So yeah, a little bit of meat that's coming up. The skimmer needs a little bit of a cleaning, but we'll do a little uh, detour on uh, the room here. So look right now, look at that. So we're actually doing a test right now. It's preparing a test and it's very silent. They have the new pumps in here. I'll show you guys inside. So right now, pump A, see there? So it's pulling the reagent right now from there and it's gonna put it right in this little cylinder. We have a pH probe. So that's how simple this is. It's such a nice system, it turned out really well. And like I said, I got my display menu here for it. Couldn't get any better than that. So if you guys have any questions, hit me up. I'll definitely uh, try to help you out as much as I can. I think it's a it's an amazing system. All right, farm hands, the Alcatronic did its test. We are testing clean 8.96 dKH, and then an hour ago it was 8.98 uh, dKH. So that is very consistent, and I've been hitting that every hour. So it's awesome. I'm really liking the numbers. So everybody's been asking me how come I'm running the Alcatronic instead of the Trident that I have. I've been running the Trident for a couple months now. I've been running this one a few weeks. I'm gonna say. The, the Trident and the Alcatronic, what is the difference to me? Well, I find the Alcatronic has been very, uh, a lot more stable in readings compared to my Trident. I've tested between both of them with Hanna checkers multiple times. The Hanna hits the readings that are on here. I can't hit any of the readings that are on the Trident. So I'm not sure, you know, like they say, you should be chasing your numbers and use multiple test kits. Well, I'm convinced with the Alcatronic, it's definitely hitting the numbers a lot more consistent compared, like on this graph compared if I look at the other one. But that is just me, so I'm sitting there and putting all my faith in this Alcatronic instead of the Trident. So, but that's just me. Everyone, uh, you know, tries things differently. So we're gonna try putting our all the success behind the Alcatronic, and that's the way I'm gonna roll, guys. So uh, thanks for tuning in this week. I know you guys wanna see uh, the main display. Well, it's coming up, and I like to do things in order and show you how things are going along. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, just hit me up on the social media. I got my Facebook club, Farmer Reef Club, you guys join on there. I'm on there every day. We have topic of the day. So come by and maybe you'll learn something. So that's the product, guys. I'm really liking it. And uh, I post on uh, pretty much weekly on the Alcatronic on all social media. So check that out. So if you guys could, you know, please subscribe to this channel. It'd be greatly appreciated. Hit that like button. Let's try to get a, you know, a few hundred likes. It'd be awesome. So make sure and please subscribe and hit that like button.